Hi, this is Peter. Uh, I want to talk about the man news on the PIX. And uh, because it's actually quite a lot of uh, things that we have to cover, so I will separate this into two parts. So if you want to go to the menu, and then the only two buttons you need to involve is the menu button and also the dial next with it. So let's go to the menu. So in the main menu, you will see actually PIX have separate all those functions into seven parts. So uh, for this review, I will only cover from the file storage to audio. So let's go to file storage. So first one will be a primary drive. What is it? Okay, if you got an SSD and a compact flash um, attached into the PIX at the same time, so you have to tell the, uh, um, the PIX which media you want to record first. So now I set it as SSD. So if you only connect one media, and then it will automatically switch to, the, to that media. So second one, when it is full, and then you can actually stop recording, or maybe you can jump into another media. So this function is actually quite good for, uh, for some uh, company. Maybe they, they want to do a, quite a long recording, and um, they, when they need to swap the, um, um, the SSD, and then it will actually have a gap. For this functions, you no need to. So this function, I think, is gorgeous because, okay, Everyone have, uh, if you're using maybe um, some um, recording media, and then you will know sometimes, especially when you record a ProRes, uh, if you ad accidentally like interrupt your files, or maybe just like, for example, like maybe, maybe um, um, the power cut out, or maybe um, accidentally pull out the, uh, the driver, and then it will interrupt your files, and then the whole files cannot be used anymore. And um, for this situation, um, sound device have uh, offering a solutions. So file separate every. So that means is every files they will separate in every one to sixteen minutes. So what's that mean? So for example, I shoot maybe an event for four hours, and then if I set into sixteen minutes to split, and then there will be four files. So uh, when you go to the editing system, you just only sequentially just put those four files into the timeline and then it will just play and edit just like as a one, one file. So it's actually safe and also is easy to use. So for the rest of the information, it's just like maybe you can insert the, uh, the name, for example, like maybe you want to set a, is a test reel or maybe a birthday or maybe a wedding, wedding, wedding party or something else, and then you can, you can use the dial to set the name. But at the same time, there is actually a USB port at the side named as keyboard. So you can use a USB keyboard to tape all the information into your PIX. At the same time, you can also use the keyboard to control the PIX too. For more information, you can go to the menu and then check it out. Okay, so we are jump to video. So for video, first one will be the video input because we are actually the PIX240. So you have to choose whether your video input is SDI or HDMI. So we are now using Sorry, we are now using the, um, the F3 with the SDI, so that's why we set into SDI. So the recording, uh, the files, resolution and rate, what's that mean? So, okay, if uh, for these situations, I'm actually, I'm actually sending a 1080-50i um, source from the F3 to connect to my PIX, but sometimes, okay, oh, if I want to just up convert it into 25p, what should I do, okay? So you have to go to this menu, press in, sorry, just jump to a wrong, wrong one, okay. Press it in, and then you can set from the highest resolution, you can set from 1080, 30p, 25, 24p, and then you can still set to I or 720p, etc. And uh, if, you've, if you want to just like record the same uh, resolutions as your input sources, you just set as same as video input. Okay, so now I want to just like show you something. So if I set to 25p, and then it will pop up and then to let you know maybe that is some issue about that. If the format is not support, for example, if I set to 24, and then you set that the time code value may have a change and then make sure it to regem, okay. 
So you will see actually now you is a uh, is a 1080p24. So it's in red color. So that means uh, it's actually warning you that this format to up convert or maybe a cross convert may be causing some issues. So okay, I see this in red. Okay, so that means it's it's not recommend. So I may be a back to a back to 25p. Okay. So once you go up to the menu, uh, go up to the LCD screen, so you see input is 1080 50i. Now I convert it into 1080 25p. So it's that easy. So we're back to video. So next one will be the codec. So in the codec, you will actually you can choose whether the is uh, the ProRes 422 HQ LT. 422 or proxy. At the same time, you also can choose the uh, DNHD uh, from the uh, 220 Mac to uh, the lowest one to a 36 Mac 8 bit. So the input detect uh, is actually if you are now in the firmware 1.0.5, so you will have these functions. So you can auto detect or maybe interrupt onto a 1080i uh, frame per seconds. So now we uh, go to audio. So audio is actually quite uh, complicated or maybe quite advanced. So I just only go through a few of the functions. So the first one you have to know that is what is your audio input. So you can have the normal external uh, extra like uh, uh, analog XLR and at the same time, you can actually using, for example, you have a and back audio from your camera and then you can set it as an and back camera. So at the same time, the SDI, the highest, the, um, the, they can support for eight SDI channels. So now I set to SDI HDMI two channels. So surely you can set the, um, um, the, the XLR is actually mic or line, and then it's actually phantom power, uh, or maybe you want to do a low cut. At the same time, okay, it's also have a limiter. So this is more advanced function. For example, if you got an external, like uh, maybe a, a audio uh, into this device, and then you got maybe another video source, which is a separate device. So you find out there might be maybe a, some delay in between each other. So you can using this to compensate the delay to sync the audio and video together. So you see the whole function is pretty actually quite advanced. So this is the first part of the uh, menu. So for the next one, I will go through the rest of the menus.